So this question, we have two objects, A and B. And they end up, they are, move, they collide together, which means they must have been moving. This one must have had a velocity in this direction, and this one must have a velocity in that direction. If they collide together, that must be true. They end up joined together and stationary. So they end up joined together and stationary, like so. During the collision of positive force F, and so, and you look at the choices, you see positives and negatives. So we need to assign a positive and a negative to our directions here. So there is a positive force exerted on A. So for a positive force to be exerted on A by B, then that must mean that this is A and this is B, and this represents the positive force. Now Newton's third law says for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. So that means then that this must be that a exerts a force on B, and that force would be equal and opposite. It would be a minus F acting on B. So that is positively why we see the answer is A. But we never just look at one answer, we look at all the others. Now, the next choice is there is an, a negative force acting on A. Well, if there were a negative force acting on A, what that means is the net force would be equal to zero. And that means that the acceleration would be, near, be zero. If the acceleration is zero, the velocity of A will not change. So it can't be at rest. It can come to a, a, a stop. So that will allow it not to come to a stop. A positive force acting on B. Let me take that answer off. If there is a positive force acting on B... If there's a positive force acting on B, well, that means that B would experience 2F, and it also would not be coming to a stop. That 2F would collide with A, and the two would go off in the other direction, to the right. So it can't be a positive force acting on B. Now we are told that there is a positive force acting on A, a positive force acting on A means that there would now be um, 2F acting on A. And so that means that A would end up going in the other direction, again to the right. So that can't possibly be the correct choice. So both positive and negating answers, we come up with choice A.